Parts of our mountain communities are getting ready for flooding as our snowpack begins to melt. Our mountain newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson joins us live now in the high country. And Spencer, this story is all about timing. Yes, absolutely. If things go too quickly and things warm up too fast, our snow melt all comes out at the same time. The ground absorbs less, and this gets a lot higher up than when we are looking at it right now. We've already had a couple of warm days, so municipalities around here are starting to go, ooh, maybe we should worry about this. So long as everything goes right, they should be okay, though. The Eagle River that runs alongside Mintern is one of the main features of the town, but each spring when the snow starts to melt down, residents have to keep an eye on the water. This year we had a very heavy snowfall year in the wintertime and an early warm period, which will generally lead to an early flow like this, which is pretty darn high for the first week of May. So they've got supplies on hand in the event that people do need it. You have to bring your own shovel, but the town of Minturn is providing sand as well as burlap bags for people to fill up sandbags and get ready in the event that there's some flooding. The town hasn't flooded for a couple of years, but right now the water's higher than they're used to, so they better be prepared. There's areas of the river through the valley that don't have the big land height that we have here. And so those are the areas that, that would be of concern. And we have a lot of melt off still to go. You can still see we have some snow along the ridges on this side of the valley, um, snow right on the river. And even on the high banks, there's snow just waiting to raise up that river. But the key is always the weather. So long as the warm up is steady, things should be okay. As long as we have some clouding here and there, as long as we have a little bit of cool weather here and there, it's, I think uh, everything's gonna be just fine. It would take, um, you know, 70, 80 degrees in a, a few days in a row, I think, to really raise it to a level of great concern. Now, I talked to towns like Breckenridge and Silverthorne about their concerns for flooding. They said, eh, we're not really worried about it, even though we did get more snow than last year. Granted, that's not saying a whole lot. Vale did say that they are worried a little bit, enough to bring out their own sandbag filling locations where residents can go and take care of that too and at least prepare in the event that all goes wrong. Live from the Mountain Newsroom, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Spencer, thank you so much. Spencer Wilson is your neighbor in the mountains. He lives there and covers issues important to you. You can send him ideas by calling the number on your screen or through our website.